Hey everybody, it's James out in the woods once more with an outdoor activity idea for kids. Now this is an after dark activity. So it's great if you're running residential courses with groups of kids, but equally you can do it at night time in your own back garden at home. We're gonna be going on a moth watch and we're gonna set up a very simple moth trap in order that we can view the moths at night. Because moths, you know, they don't get enough love. Butterflies get all the attention, but moths are really fascinating creatures. To set up your simple moth trap, you're going to need a few things. A large white sheet, some pegs and string to hang that up with, and also some good lights. With that said, let's see how I got on with a moth watch in my own back garden. Now, as you can see, I've got a couple of really snazzy lights here, but what's important is not that you have lights like this, but that you use a, like a white or blue light. That's gonna work best. If you have one of those daylight bulbs that some people use in winter to brighten up the house and add a bit more daylight, they will be good. They'd be better than a normal bulb because a normal bulb gives out an orange tungsten light. We want a kind of white or blue light. The moths will be much more attracted to that. So as you can see, I've got my sheet hung up behind me here. I've put it against the door of our garage. I've got a couple of lights ready to go. And I've also got some guides so I can see what I spot. All we need now is a bit of patience and a bit of darkness. So I'll see you soon. I'll tell you what, when you come out at night, and sit quiet and shine a light on your garden suddenly realize how many creatures are moving around. No moths so far, but it's early. We've got this snail, there's a spider, a harvestman. There's a whole host of bugs moving about here. Well, I've been out here about half an hour now. There's been a couple of little moths, but then we had a big whopper flying and it just wouldn't stay still long enough for me to capture it too well on camera. But it was really great to see it. A spectacular moth. And also here on some night, and I'm hoping to catch it tonight, we've had a bat flying back and forth above our yard here. Perhaps it even lives in the barn. And it circles round doing a figure of eight as it hunts. And did you know that a pipistrelle bat, which is a really small bat here in Britain, can eat up to 3,000 insects per night? Anyway, back to moth watching. Fantastic, the call of the tawny owl. And it's midnight now, so I think it's time to go inside and turn the lights off. I've seen a few moths tonight, but it's not just moths that are out at night time. We've got the owls, we've had other birds calling, we've had the local cats having an archy bargy in the next garden, and I've seen a whole array of mini beasts as well. So there's plenty to see out at night, even if you don't get all the moths you wanted. But I think if I tried this on another night, I would get other moths. So you never know what you're gonna get on this. That's the fun of doing something like this. And if you try it for yourself, it'd be really interesting to find out what you get on your moth watch. Well, that's how you make a simple moth trap. And I hope you're gonna give it a go yourselves. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.